Jag hälsar på hemma hos en lantbrukarfamilj som bor strax norr om huvudstaden Nairobi. Det är Annie, före detta sjuksköterska, som nu driver en gård tillsammans med maken George. De köpte gården för några år sedan när de fortfarande hade andra jobb som gav dem inkomster. Och nu är de stolta lantbrukare. Water is the entry point of everything. Teknisk utveckling med enkla medel har hela tiden varit central för George och Annie. After building the house, I got a very big roof space, which now I could collect water. And then I had to build a tank, the first tank, which is 165,000 liters. After harvesting the water for the first season, I saw that the water now is more than domestic use. So I thought of something else to do with the water. And I saw that I could keep some animals uh, to be using that water. Also, the farm had been cultivated for more than 100 years without any soil conservation measures, without any fertility addition. So it was very poor. When I planted the first plant, They only grew six inches, and then they started going down, and instead of growing up. And I had to, uh, to look and uh, ask myself, what is wrong? One lorry of manure is Kenya shilling, 15,000 shillings, which is too much. When I calculated how much I'm going to put in the farm, it came to over 10 million shillings. I didn't have that money. So I thought of starting to develop my own manure by keeping the animals slowly by slowly. And that is what I did. I have put manure now to the farm, one layer, one season. And I can tell you, I have seen the impact of it last week, last uh, season. De producerar ägg och slaktkycklingar och försäljningen av de produkterna innebär bland annat att de har ett konstant inflöde av pengar, vilket är en stor fördel i ett land som Kenya. Somebody who doesn't own a farm in Kenya, we call them the I don't we call them the most poverty person. Yeah. We produce milk, we drink, we the family. I sell, I get money. That money my husband doesn't ask me where I take. <laughs> the money is mine. Also it uh, gives us manure for the, for the for our farm. If we can get el electricity. You know I have to wake up during the night to put up we layer the ch the chickens with the charcoal. And at night I have to wake up. So if we have uh, electricity to be very easy for us to keep more chickens also for the security and for the for the house use. George och Annie är framgångsrika kenyanska lantbrukare men brottas också med stora problem som har att göra med landets dåliga förvaltning, den undermåliga organisationen av det kenyanska jordbruket. Allt för många profitörer tillåts härja fritt. Uh, we have people who we call middlemen. They are the worst people. Because when they come to the farmer, they cheat them. And then you are, rest, you are, you are left with your products. Until now they know that if your product takes two days again in the farm, they are going to be spoiled. So they come and tell you the price in Nairobi is one shilling for the banana. So you don't have any other thing to do than to give him. But when he goes to Nairobi, He sells the banana 10 shillings. So you can see how much he is making. And it will be very possible to come and meet a farmer very poor. He's the one producing these things in Nairobi, but very poor. The middleman who is doing nothing, just to come and take these things to Nairobi, he's very rich even buying houses, even car cars. Yes. That is the biggest obstacle we have. That we don't have the access. Unless you have enough money, you don't have the access of selling the things. Like last time, uh, this was my second harvest of the mangoes. The first harvest we had a big problem because the ones who were coming to buy from here, they were buying them even three shillings. 
Pawan mango. When he goes to the road, you go to buy that mango, he will sell you 20 shillings. So you can see now the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the biggest obstacle. Marketing, mm -hmm. lack of cooperation between the farmers and the government officials. Det är talande och bestickande att allt det som Annie och George rår över själva, det klarar de utan vidare. Men så fort de tvingas göra sig beroende av andra aktörer på den kenyanska marknaden, då uppstår problem som hämmar deras produktion. So I believe that foreign assistance can become much more effective if it not only looks at into poverty alleviation, but it also looks seriously into how they can help production how they can help the small businessmen become much more effective, how they can bring help bring in good legal institutions that will leverage their assets and that will increase their capacity to, increase, uh, to augment productivity. So in that sense, I think that it would be interesting that, that countries that are generous with, by giving their development aid think of strategies that relate much more to the changing of institutions and not only to poverty affiliation. I think you have to do both things, but you need to do more of the latter. The secret behind my success is the cooperation between my wife, me, and the workers. Mm. That is the most co uh, success I can say. Mm. Not me. It's the cooperation which is there. Mm. Because what we come and sit down and talk about it, when I come back the next week, I see that they have done it. Mm. If there's anything wrong, we sit down and say, no, mm. let's do this and this and this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Annie och George visar att det kenyanska jordbruket skulle kunna vara mycket mer produktivt om alla goda krafter kunde samverka. Den enkla sanningen gäller nog för hela Afrika. Water is life. I proved it. Water is life.